You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and white sports fans, we're going to be talking about the NIL name, image and likeness deals that are going on in college sports. Now, for the longest time, college athletes could not actually have any type of endorsement deals. However, that was found to be unconstitutional. And now college athletes are cashing in. However, guys, Nick Saban, as you guys know, he's come out. He's made a bunch of accusations out there about uh, schools actually paying players to come to that school. Now, there's been a lot of fallout from that. Uh, we know about the Deion Sanders stuff and also uh, Jimbo Fisher. It was a bit story yesterday. Well, guys, Nick Wright of F FS1, he is one of the most woke people out there in the uh, sports media. He started to play the race card now with this, and he got into a Twitter war with his colleague over there at Fox Sports, Doug Gottlieb, who was actually a former college athlete. And they went back and forth. So we're going to be diving into that in this video, guys. First, go over to blackandwhitenetwork.com. Consider becoming a member. We have three different membership plans. All you have to do is click the membership tab and you get you get access to exclusive videos over there just for the members. Usually a lot of stuff um, that YouTube doesn't actually like. Or you can shop for the merch. We're running a special use the discount code USA first and you're going to get 25 percent off any shirt and merch store. And also we have our new um, Ultra MAGA shirt. You guys are buying their shirt like crazy. And uh, we do appreciate everybody coming out and supporting us and getting the merch. And you can see the Ultra MAGA shirt right there. But let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Over here on Outkick, a Doug Gottlieb versus Nick Wright war erupts as NIL race emotions boil over. Now, folks, how could actually race actually play a part of this? We're living in the era of uh, Walt Sports and the Walt Sports Media. So pretty much you can throw race into anything, guys, anything. But it says here, Friday morning, we had ourselves an old fashioned war of words between Fox Sports radio talker Doug Gottlieb and FS1 talker Nick Wright over the world of college athletics and athletes making some spending money via the name, image, and likeness legislation that has everyone fired up. I would actually call it way more than just spending money, but it depends on your needs. I mean, some of these guys are making more money than doctors now. It says in one corner we have Wright siding with the athletes who want to get paid and Doug, who is team scholarship. And this is actually uh, written by um, uh, Joe Kinsey over here on our kick. He says, I'm pro chaos. So I'm a huge fan of uh, NIL and the money that's been thrown around over the past uh, eight to 10 months. It's been incredibly, incredibly fun to see the big men step out from behind car dealerships or men's suit stores in Tuscaloosa and just Give those athletes trucks and cash for social media likes. It must be nice, man. I'm happy for these guys. Um, I'm, I'm a capitalist. I'm not a socialist. I'm a capitalist. And I believe if these guys should be able to make that money, let them make that money. But uh, check this out. This is what uh, Nick Wright had to say. It says Nick Wright taking a racial stand by saying, quote, a majority white administrated state has been stealing money from a majority black player pool. And of course, uh, Doug Gottlieb, he didn't like that whatsoever. But let's go ahead and listen to the clip here of uh, Nick Wright on FS1. Hopefully um, they don't copyright this, but I think you guys really need to hear the context of what he's saying here, guys. Let's roll it. We are a country that hates regulation and loves free markets. Even if it will be the death of all of us, that's what we've, the road we've decided to go down. And it is not lost on me that the only place, and I'm not talking about you at all here, Wilds, but the general uh, sporting public wants extra regulations and extra rules is keeping their thumb on men's college football and basketball players because there is an undeniable and always has been incredibly uncomfortable 
racial context of the guys. It is young black men, mo- mostly black men from mostly really tough circumstances, generating billions of dollars. And who's getting who, who's sharing in that? An overwhelmingly white administration, an overwhelmingly white coaching staff, an overwhelmingly white non-rev sports. How do we pay for the tennis team and the golf team? Ah, men's football and basketball. What do they get? A scholarship. What do they get? A scholarship. Be happy. We pulled you out the hood. Maybe you'll have a better life if somehow, if if you make the league or do something with your education. But what about right now when I'm generating all this money? What about right now when I could pull my mom and my brother out of the hood as well? Nah, well, you're going to have to wait on me. This would never, we would have never gotten to this place. Where the, where you have multi-billion dollar television contracts and the, the people generating the value are paid in education and room and board if it wasn't poor black kids at the forefront of being taken advantage of. And now finally, it's like, okay, you can profit off your name, image, and likeness. And as is always the case, people find workarounds to feed them money. Good. I hope it happens more. It's always been a fraud. The whole thing's always been ever since we started televising, gambling on, and paying college college sports like they're pro sports, and paying the coaches and the administrators like they're pros. We have been walking down this path. We've all profited in it, myself included. I, I, I talk about sports for a living, so my hands aren't clean in this. But I'm glad it is finally being the light of day is being pulled off. It's being shown under the light of day. It's damn too late. Well, I'm not surprised that um, Nick Wright played the race card. (laughs) A first comment here says, Mr. Wright play the race card. Uh, Right, ladies and gentlemen? Of course he would. This guy's pretty woke right here. Now, Doug Gottlieb, this is what he said about Nick Wright's take. He says, this is far and away the most ridiculous fake racism take out there for years for four year colleges and um, universities have provided educational opportunities for student athletes that have given more scholarships than any program outside of the GI bill. Now he is right about this. The main reason you should go to college folks is to get an education. If you're looking at, Oh, I can set my family up for life by going to college as far as athletics. Guess what, guys? The vast majority of athletes are not going to make it to the NFL. And then at that, the guys that go to the NFL, their career is so short. And usually a lot of those guys blow their money within three or four years after leaving the league. So that and the statistics back that up there. It really, really does. So when I was in college, guys, guess what? I didn't get a full scholarship. I was in a band. So I was at every um, home uh, football game and the only people I believe in a band that got full rides was the drum majors and also the uh, equipment manager. They were the only ones that got a full ride. And I believe when you go to college, your focus really should be on the education because chances are, guys, the athlete or whoever is going to college looking at the dollar bills, chances are. They're going to end up flat broke. That's just the way it is. It really is. Um, he also says the sad part is this push by essays before uh, they have even played a game, taking a class or assimilated to a school sets them up for failure in a post sports career. If you have been given uh, before you earn, where is the motivation uh, you get to the real world now? Yeah. Cause you could do have a lot of freshmen coming in they're getting these nil deals what if they suck he makes a good point right here he really does um but also uh, also he says this here too uh fake racism is almost as bad as real racism white administration is comical you know most educators don't make much administrators as well just a bad fake racism take do better And then Nick Wright replies back to him. He says, your tweet uh, doesn't address what I'm talking about in that clip. But since you said my take was the most ridiculous fake racism take out there, that implies you have a mental list of other 
fake racism takes. Care to share them? I love to hear and what the others are. And then Doug Gottlieb comes back. He says in sports, one, racism decides NFL QB decisions. Treatment is uh, probably the worst, but it did previously exist 40 years ago. So at least there is historical accuracies, even if they no longer exist. Two, white people are stole in quotations from black athletes because they were on scholarship. Guys, the drama is really, really out there. Uh, he says, last thing on NIL is this. Many of the same people who don't want athletes, quote, bought and sold, are the same ones fighting for athletes to be bought and sold. And this is this is some interesting stuff right here. Really, really is some very, very interesting stuff. The war of words between Doug Gottlieb and Nick Wright. Nick Wright goes all the way out there, brings in the race card. And he says that a white administration has been stealing money from a majority black player pool. Now, when I was in college, guess what? I didn't get paid. I was in a band. No athletes got paid at all. Most people do go to college for the education. At least that's the way um, I think it, that it should be right there. And saying that they were stealing money. No, no, I, I'm, I'm not with Nick Wright on this. I'm not going to go down and play the race card on this. I mean, if you're going to go to college, go to college for the right reasons. OK, I, that's the way I look at it. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, who do you agree with on this? Do you agree with Nick Wright or, or are you going to take the side of Doug Gottlieb? Some serious drama going on. This NIL thing is a huge conversation, whether it's the sports media going after each other or whether it's Nick Saban and Jimbo Fisher going after each other with Deion Sanders. This stuff is wild, folks. Really, really wild. Anyway, guys, the legislature stick about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.